Okay. I I think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll stop in a second. I promise. <laughs> those things anywhere near you. <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. <laughs> oh, and Yona. Y yeah? Don't touch that book. Not ever. Got it? Yona, talk to me. It's okay. I'm fine. What about you? Ah, those guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way, look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow. Is that a cookie? 
Here. We can split it. No, you take it. No, you need to eat too. Fine, I'll take the small half. No, come on. You need to keep up your straight. <laughs> <coughs> Yona! Yona! Oh no. I'm sorry. I dropped the cookie. I didn't mean to. Yona? Why did you? Alright, I'm heading out. Mm -hmm. Good morning. How's Yona doing today? Her cough's still pretty bad. Hmm. That's worrisome. I know. I keep hoping she'll at least get a little better, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm failing her. Oh, stop that. You're the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I got a request from someone in the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the Northern Plains. Got it. I'm on my way. Since you're going to the Plains, let me give you a map. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Oh, and one more thing. Would you mind purchasing three medicinal herbs from the client while you're at it? I used my last one earlier. Here's some money. Popola, this is way too much. Well then, buy some for Yona while you're at it. You don't have to... It's okay. Really. Thanks, Popola. For everything. What's this all about? Just the way you and the other villagers always take care of us. We really appreciate it, is all. <laughs> Think nothing of it. People need to look out for each other, right? Besides, everyone here wants to see Yona healthy and happy. So hang in there, okay? I will. People say the world is dying. Populations continue to fall, while plague and disease run rampant. If that wasn't enough, Monsters called Shades now roam the land as well, threatening our very lives. But I can't let any of that distract me. My sister is sick, and my only goal is to ensure that the two of us survive. It's not easy for a pair of kids to live on their own. But the villagers have been kind to us, and despite everything, somehow I feel like we're gonna be okay. We have to be. 
There's no other choice. I better get this mutton back to the village. I delivered the mutton. Oh, and here's your herbs. Great. That should help with the food shortage. And thanks for the herbs, too. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. Welcome home. How'd it go today? Anything exciting happen? Cuz, I just stayed here all day like you told me to. I tried reading books, but I finished all of them. So if you have any fun stories, you should tell me. Hmm. Well, Popola told me about a legendary flower called a Lunar Tear. Have you heard of it? That's a silly name. I guess. But people say finding one will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. If I ever found one, I'd buy you so many cookies your stomach would hurt. Could a Lunar Tear make me better? Sure. With that kind of money, we could buy the best medicine around. The kind that'll cure anything. Yona? What's wrong? It's nothing. Good night. Okay, I'm off to Popolis. See you later. And please stay out of trouble today, okay? Hey, Popola. Need a hand with anything? I do have something, but... I don't know. It's going to be a bit of an ordeal. I'm sure I can handle it. Aren't you confident? <sighs> well, you know the little wooden bridge out in the Northern Plains, right? The one where the pillars all rotted out? Exactly. We had a team of carpenters working on it, but they were attacked by shades. Wait, really? But it's so sunny there. Yes, I know. Apparently, it was overcast that day, and the shades caught them off guard. One of the carpenters was seriously injured, but they can't move him so long as the shades are there. I'll go take him out. If you're up for it. It could be really dangerous. I'll be fine, Popola. I've been training every day. I'm as strong as anyone in the village. Heck, I killed a bunch of shades by the village gate just yesterday. Oh? That's a bit disconcerting. Anyway, are you sure you want to take this job? Yep, I got this. That's all of them. That should take care of the shades for a while. You're back! Hey, Popola. Did everything go all right? Were you hurt? I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I felt like I sent you into a really dangerous situation, and if something had... Popola, look at me. I'm fine. I know, it's just... I'm just relieved is all. Oh, here. Those carpenters left some money for you. Wow, thanks. Go buy something nice for Yona, okay? Oh, speaking of Yona, she came by this afternoon. What? She was supposed to stay home. I think it's okay. She just wanted to ask me a question. About what? She was asking about the outside world. You mean outside the village? Exactly. She seemed excited, too. Poor thing was talking a mile a minute. She's probably been getting nutty ideas from some book again. Don't worry. I made sure to remind her she isn't allowed beyond the gates. Thanks. But she was worried about you, so you'd better hurry home. Yeah, I will. Thanks again. Yona? Where'd she go? Maybe she's still at the library. Hey, Popola, I can't find Yona. Really? 
You have any idea where she might be? She stopped by earlier today, but that was a while ago. Did she say anything? She just asked if I knew where lunar tears grow. She's so cute. I told her how they used to grow around the lost shrine long ago. Why is Yona asking about lunar tears? Huh? Oh, crap. What's wrong? Yesterday, I told her that story about how lunar tears can make you rich. Oh. Then we got to talking about how we could use the money to buy medicine to make her better. You don't think she... I think that's exactly what she did. I have to go find her. What's the fastest way to the Lost Shrine? Through the Eastern Gate. Got it. Thanks. Thanks. For the love of all that is holy, would you please stop pounding me? Then move! Yoda! By the heavens! Focus on the small ones first. wanted to help. I'm the one who's sorry. You must have been scared out of your mind. Are you okay? Ahem. <clears throat> Perhaps we'd best depart, hmm? The shrine's about to collapse. Come on, Yona. Let's go. You're faster than I thought. I tried. I really did. But I couldn't find a lunar tear. And I'm so sorry. I, I just wanted to make you rich and get rid of this disease. I'm sorry. Don't worry about... Uh, 
Yona? What's going on? She has the Black Scroll. Yeah. When did this happen? The weird coughing started about a month or so ago. The disease curses the afflicted with strange runic symbols that gradually spread over the entire body. And I fear it is fatal. Yeah, I know. Oh, Yona. Come, it's best to let her sleep. Oh, you're back. I was worried about you. I heard you went through the Eastern Gate and... Wait, is that a book? Yeah, it's... Now see here, I am Grimoire Vice and you will treat me with the proper respect. Wait, you're Grimoire Vice? Oh, that is so cool. Hold on, what? You know him? Of course. He's the white book I was just singing about. He's in your song? Yeah, the Song of the Ancients. It's an old tune that's been passed down through generations of villagers. It's in a forgotten language, so I doubt you could make much sense out of it. Do you know what it means? Well, it's not like I studied it or anything. But I can tell you bits and pieces. There's this terrible black book that shows up and starts spreading disease all over the place. But then this white book appears and saves the world and everyone's happy. You know how it goes. What is it? Uh, it's nothing. So how exactly does this white book save the world? It's just a song, yeah? I don't really know the details. Oh. Aw, don't be sad. Uh, look, why don't you go ask Popola? She's got a big brain, maybe she knows something. That's a good idea. Thanks. I heard about Yona. I... I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Well, maybe you can help. What do you know about the song that Devilo was singing? Wait, is that Grimoire Vice? You know Vice? Finally. Someone who appreciates quality when they see it. Yes, well, the Song of the Ancients. Let's see. When the great black book, Grimoire Noir, brings calamity upon the world. The white book, Grimoire Vice, will appear with his sealed verses. He will then use them to vanquish Grimoire Noir and purge the calamity he wrought. Or so the legend goes. What's a sealed verse? No such records remain, so I can't say for sure. But they seem to resemble some form of magic. Magic. That's it! Uh, what is? So the song says Grimoire Vice purchased the world of this calamity, right? And he does so using these sealed verses. Oh, and do you believe the matter I infused in the shrine is one of these sealed verses? Exactly, Vice! With your power, we can cure Yona! Guys, don't get too excited. This is just some old legend. Hey, Vice was just some old legend yesterday, but here he is! And if he's real, the rest of it must be too. He can cure the Black Scrawl. I know he can! Do we know anything regarding the whereabouts of this Grimoire Noir? Sorry, but there's nothing about that in any of the records. All I can say for sure is that there are a number of sealed verses out there. Also, it appears the shades you fight and these verses are intrinsically linked. Then we'll go kill every shade we can find! No! That's far too dangerous! What an absurdly reckless plan! So I should just sit around and do nothing while Yona suffers? I don't think so. But... Uh, well, it's clear I won't be able to talk you out of this, so... I've heard the Shades are gathering near a village called the Airy. It's past the bridge on the Northern Plains. They should be done with the repairs by now. I marked it on your map for you. Maybe you could find one of the sealed verses there. Once you arrive, be sure to speak to the village chief. He lives in the house up on the highest point in the airy. Got it.
This must be the chief's house. Who goes there? Uh, well, we're... Be gone, strangers. Wait, listen to... No. Leave this village at once and never return. What a pathetic bunch of rebel. What the heck is that? Nice flowers. Those are Luna Tears, legendary flowers of almost perfect beauty. You're kidding. Those are the ones I told Yona about. Hands off the flowers. Uh, Vice, why is that lady in her underwear? I fear we have greater issues to deal with. Is she a shade? are disappearing. Huh? Is she human? This one has been possessed by a shade. She exists as neither fully human nor other. I feel bad for treating her like one of those things. We have to help her. You're awake. You. I'm sorry we attacked you. We thought you were a shade. Well, you're half right. Now get the hell out of here. Now see here. We made our apologies and came to your aid. The least you can do is grace us with your name. <laughs> it's okay, Vice. She's probably just exhausted. My name's Kaine. Ah, the name we heard back in the village. Look, nothing good is gonna happen if you stick with me. So do like I said, and go. Oh, and one more thing. That monster back there? It's mine. Stay the hell away from it. A giant shade? In the area? Yeah. It took all we had just to chase it off. I wish there was some way to strengthen my weapon. You know... There's a little shop at the entrance to the junk heap that might be able to help. 
If you bring them materials, they should be able to use them to enhance your weapons. Interesting. Guess I'll check it out. Oh. Jacob, I'm hungry. I know, hold on. We have some old bread here. Hey there. Oh, welcome. Please, come in. What is this place? It's my shop. I'm the finest smith in these parts. Uh, usually. See, my brother and I build items from scrap we find in the junk heap. But we're a little low on supplies at the moment. The junk heap, you say? That's right. Folks say it used to be a military base. I don't know about that, but there's lots of great stuff in there. It's not exactly the safest place in the world, but we gotta eat, you know? So it's just the two of you out here? Our father died when Gideon was very young. And Mom is... She's out right now. Getting supplies. But I'm sure she'll be... Mom's been gone for seven days. When's she coming back? Seven days? That's a long time. It's getting harder to find good scrap. She probably had to go deeper into the heap. I said I'm hungry. So if you had the materials, would you be able to upgrade our weapons? Well, yeah, but it's really dangerous in there right now, so we... No problem. We'll go. You... you will? I want to upgrade my weapon. And besides, you need inventory for your shop, right? Well, yes, but... It's settled then. What do you need? Well, to improve your weapon, I'll need three titanium alloys. You can get them from the defense robots around the mountain. Got it. Here's a map of the complex. You're probably gonna need it. And be careful, please. It's gotten really scary in there. I hate being alone. I want to go find Mom. Hello again. We got your materials. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'll get right to work on your weapon. Normally I charge you something, but you can have this one for free. Here you go. And thanks again. This ought to keep us going for a while longer. I want to find Mom! Is everything okay? I'm sorry. He's impatient for our mom to come back and thinks we should go look for her. We just need to wait, okay? She'll be back soon. I don't want to wait! I want to find mom! <sighs> nice. Yes, yes, I know. We're off to search for the misplaced mother, aren't we? Please, no. I already owe you far more than I can ever repay. Oh, don't even worry about it. You don't understand. Our mother is... Mm hmm? Never mind. Mom usually goes pretty deep inside the mountain. You're gonna need to use the elevator, so I'd better give you the activation code. It's a woman. And she's dead. I fear we have discovered the delinquent mother. So who's this other person? Hmm, it's a male. This bag has nice clothes in it. And money too. Why would she bring this stuff here? It would seem she abandoned her children to seek comfort in the arms of a swain. Oh, that's awful. So much for miracles. Instead, we have discovered the worst possible truth. What will you tell the children? I don't know. What's this? A perfume bottle? It smells of roses. I guess we should bring this back to them. Where's mom? She's, uh... 
She's in heaven now. What? It's true. Your mother's left this world. Liar! I don't believe you! Did she die alone? Uh, well... It's okay. I know all about it. Just tell me. Did she die with the one she loved? We found two bodies. It appears they left this life as one. Okay. That's okay. Come again. Mom was always so frustrated, you know? Torn between her duty to us and her heart. I think... I think maybe this is for the best. Are you saying you forgive her? I mean, she's my mom, you know? The only one I'll ever have. We found this next to her. This is Mom's perfume. It smells like her. Damn it. I can't let myself cry. If Gideon sees me like this... Damn it. I hope I did the right thing. Hey, safe travels, okay? And thank you, for everything. Your actions were just. Never doubt it. Yona? Mm. Yona, what is it? It hurts. Oh, Yona. I'll go get some medicine, okay? Just hang on. Wait. What is it? Just don't do anything dangerous. Stop worrying already. Hey, Popola. Do you have any pain medicine? Pain medicine? It's for Yona. Her pain is... It's getting really bad. That poor girl. Well, I guess we could try a shaman fish. What's that? It's a fish found near Seafront. Their livers contain a chemical that's said to dull even the strongest pain. That sounds perfect. How do I get there? You can find Seafront out past the Southern Plains. Shades have been spotted there recently, though, so be careful. Today, can't let the lighthouse stay dark. I doubt we'll have much luck plundering about blindly for a shaman fish. What should we do? I don't even know what one looks like, so if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Perhaps we could try asking some of the townspeople for advice. Works for me. Heck, we might even find a place that sells them. Said, let's get this back to Yona. Mm, everything hurts. Hang in there, okay? I got you some medicine. It's not gonna taste good, but I need you to take it anyway. Don't worry, I can handle it. That's what I like to hear. How you feeling? Better. It doesn't hurt anymore. That's great. <sighs> That's really great. Hey, what's that book? Oh yeah, 
Guess I should introduce you. I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of Arcane. Oh, hi, Vicey. Now see here, my name is... Vice has been worried about you too. Really? Aw, oh, thanks, Vicey. It appears impudence is the fruit of this family tree. Anyway, I need to go talk to Popola. Stay here and get some rest, alright? Alright. Hey, I brought a letter for you. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh dear. What's wrong? It's from the mayor of Seafront. He says that a horde of shades have appeared in the area. I would sooner hurl myself into a bonfire than revisit that unsociable hellhole. But there are still so many innocent people there. Sure. I'll go take a look. I think she intends to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. That's not your dis- Grandma, can I rest now? I'm so tired. Kaine, over here! Don't give up! You're stronger than that! Don't you dare give up now! This woman is more trouble than she's worth. That's it! Come on! You're going to live, Kaine! Live? My four. What? <laughs> I had my revenge, and now it's over. Oh, now, see here, this is rich. Vice! We help you in some mad quest for vengeance, and now you think to bid us adieu? How can a fighter so skilled be cursed <sighs> with such a thick head? A true warrior would fight. They would give all in the service of their friends. Friends? That's right. He's right! Kaine, we're friends now! Uh, see here, that was hardly the point. Okay, then what is the point? Uh, Kaine, we need your help. Will you fight with us? Fool, you cannot simply ask her outright. There is a proper order to these matters. One must ease into the topic with carefully considered words before commencing Kaine negotiations. Book. Uh, book! How dare you! I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of Arcane... Vice, then. Do not abbreviate my name. You're an ass. But you're right. I can't just live for revenge. You mean... you're coming with us? These swords of mine need a true home. But you'll do for now.
So, Black Scrawl got your sister, huh? Yeah, and we need the sealed verses to cure her. Gotcha. <laughs> what is it? Well, I'm not sure if this will help, but I know a guy who has the same disease. He's a king, actually, and his kingdom has been trying to find a cure for a while. It's possible they may have something. You think they may have discovered a cure? I said it's possible. I didn't say it happened. Anyway, the place is called Facade. It's deep within the desert. We should go check it out. If nothing else, we might be able to find some clues there. Indeed. And if this proves successful, it would certainly make our task a good deal easier. The gate is sealed tight. Well, great. Guess we're not getting in. Where, where is she going? <laughs> you know these guys, Kaine? Not exactly. ユリセーザ隊員だ。え、ユアルテルオ、喧嘩するよりんぎうち。What's Ugh. Why'd they make a bunch of rules that contradict each other? This is their way and their sp- Frida! Elpa, karetai! Hmm... That rule only forbids your people from entering the temple, right? Hmm. So why not ask an outsider to save your prince? Oh, and what luck! We just happen to have an outsider who can't stop meddling in the affairs of others right here. I'm going to. Fira told me about Rule 1024. You know that one, right? Rule 1024. You must honor the request of any outsider owed a debt. That's how it goes, right, Fira? Why did I ever agree to travel with such a pack of do-gooders? Let's move. Kaizamu, 
ツグコスキーサオサラエオシエペルアカイザンアサキカエサラトアヤーリアトウルカイラムオステキルタチエクグギリスアガイウカンヤーリカイザムアッチエテスレタダそれでカイザムチタレルチロンテクカイラムカイザムヨーリウラホトサラタインタゾスローであったベルアトカイザムセテテツサワクゴレトルヨーリ Oh, no, that's all right. We were just happy to help. Andy Tansa, Kurta, Togo. I believe the regent has just given us an order. I guess so. In that case, how about you make rule zero and have it say that if people don't like a rule, they can vote to change it? A splendid idea. Yori Saro, Elpa Chisuchita, Perua, Top, Lutus. オンジワクレタイペルアトとタトだアンダサンキトシチテとヨーリュエオーカイザムサラトはシエテキッタコスキウカエテスレタだ、uh, Thanks but I think most of your praise belongs to someone else ケワタタ Do you know how to cure the black scrawl? So soon, you. Ryzam de Itochikita. So even a king couldn't recover from it. Ah. De Tushikita toda. It seems there is no way around it. We'll have to collect the sealed verses after all. Yeah. It's the only lead we have. Win Kareki Soto? We came across an old song that says if we find them all, we can cure the Black Scrawl. And yes, we are well aware that refrains penned by minstrels half in their cups are hardly a reliable source of information. Hey, I'll believe anything if there's even a sliver of hope it could help me save Yona. And I'll collect verses, orbs, crystals, magic goat meat, whatever. Yaristi, t a s t e k t a i t a Of course. Just try not to get yourself kidnapped again. y o n a Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Better now that I'm taking the medicine you brought. Good. Um, by the way, are you gonna stay here today? You bet. Really? You'll stay with me? Really? <laughs> yeah, Yona. I'll stay. Yay! Now get back to bed. Okay. Morning. <sighs> Morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, I just. I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I had a dream too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. So, what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. But don't worry, I'm gonna study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime, too. 
Sure, Yona. Thank you so much. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. For a sealed verse, that didn't take much effort. Yes, all a touch too easy, if you ask me. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. Yay! You're back! Hopala said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice, and he's my friend. So you have to help him, please? Yona, listen. Please? Great. Now what do I do? Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! You're a male. Young. Not even 20. You figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <laughs> but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. Stay back! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... No, please. Don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah. I do not like anything about this place.
Weiss, this is it! Research report on petrification. Well, well. Oh no! This passage is written in some kind of code! We went through all this trouble to find it, and now... Oh look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian... Ah, so the servant has a name after all. Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? Give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. <laughs> Yona. You need to lie down. I know. It won't be much longer, I promise. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Now, I just need to find Grimoire Noir. It sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? Of course I will. Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. Yona? You... You're... You're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just... I... I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Popola, Yona's cough is getting worse. Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? Please? The thing is, I actually just ran out. I hate to ask this. But can you get me some vapor moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. A vapor moss, huh? I'll be right back. What is it? What happened? Hurry. Emil!
He doesn't seem to be sick. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. <gasps> Are you all right, Emil? I can see it. Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air. It's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. Oh god, there's so many of them. Get out. Get out of the village. The shades are coming. Huh? Sounds like they're already here. Come on, let's go. You welts are hardly worthy of our steel. Hurry! Hurry! Get the wounded to the library! Shades in the library. Jonah! Great. I love basements. Do it. Knock it down the basement. Dear God. <laughs> Yoda!
Is that the leader of these creatures? Finally. Where am I? It's been a long time, Grimoire Vice. Who are you? What is this place? I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? Do you not remember, Grimoire Vice? We too serve a higher purpose. Enough lies! Stay back! Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous! Your denial is preposterous! We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> The Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? Us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never! Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No... lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. <laughs> we shall become as one, you and I. <laughs> Making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry! Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace! How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord! Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <sighs> I am one with the Shadow... Huh? Bitch. We Grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us, but I promise I won't forget you. I'll remember you, no matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And that's, that's not all I'll do. You hear me? I'll chase you till the end of time, and I'll bring you back to us. Please, please come back! Damn it, we need to stop him! If we don't do something, that black book will absorb vice! Black. White. Black. White. Yes, now we shall unite in common purpose. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. Boys! 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 We've got 
you. <laughs> For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. V Vice, Vice. Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you. And I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back! Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Vice! It's almost too much trouble. But they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks. Stand in time. You're Get up! No! Give my sister back! No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Yona! 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 <laughs> Are you okay? Yona. Is this blood? The fight's over. And I think we are lost. We? Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. Kaine, no! A oh, quick crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. No! I can't! Kaine! Stop! He's right! It's suicide! You can't do it! Your powers exist to protect others, right? Kaine! Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! Kaine, no! You can't! God damn it! We don't have a choice! Kaine. 
No more crying, okay? <laughs> Grow strong. <laughs> Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. Another poor victim. Damn it. When will this stop? It's dangerous here. You should get back. Gates are even attacking the village now. And armored ones, no less. This village of yours seems to be changing for the worse. It's all the Shadow Lord's fault. That one day changed everything. Five long years. It's been five years since they took my sister. I spent every waking moment searching for her, but all I found is heartache and despair. This world is winding down. Between the Shades and the Black Scrawl, there won't be anyone left soon. My life now, and my purpose, is hunting Shades. Someday I'll find a clue that will lead me to the Shadow Lord. I believe that. I have to. Popola called for you, yes? Yeah. Look at you. I think you've grown even taller. Yeah? It's hard for me to tell anymore. But you haven't changed a bit, Popola. What's your secret? I see your flattery skills are improving as well. No, it's true. You look the same as the day I first met you. Okay, now you're just embarrassing me. Anyway, here. This is from Emil. Well, well. Perhaps the time has come to save Kaine. <sighs> I take it this means you'll be leaving the village. Sorry. I know the Shades have been rough lately. It's okay. Go. Just be careful. Oh! Hey there, guys! Hey, Emil. It's been a while. And, uh, you haven't aged a day. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sort of... special that way. Huh. Fair enough. Anyway, I hear you found a lead on undoing the petrification curse. 
Yes. Take a look at this. There's a section of this manor called the planning room, and I think... You think this room will let you harness the ability to control all forms of magic, correct? Actually, yeah. Or even if it doesn't, something there might point us in the right direction. So where is this planning room? There's an entrance in the courtyard. It's not far. Good. Let's go find it. to be humans. Normal humans. Just a bunch of regular human kids like you'd see anywhere. And then we came here. They wanted to turn us into weapons. So they used magic to perform terrible experiments on us. Eventually they succeeded. They managed to create a perfect weapon. The name of that weapon was Number Six. But soon they lost control of Number Six, and the experiment was deemed a failure. They had to create a weapon that could petrify Number Six and seal it away. So they created me. I'm Number Seven. I'm... I'm a weapon. Weapon or no weapon, you're still a meal to us. Thank you. This is number six. She's my sister. This thing is alive? My sister is the greatest weapon ever made, and... Yes, go on. And with her power, I could eradicate my petrification curse. So what's the plan here? First, you have to promise me something. Hmm? If my sister somehow manages to swallow me up, My original self becomes lost. I'm afraid I may try to hurt all of you. And if that happens... No, wait! Then I want you to kill me. You have to get him out of there, now! I'm on it. We're not gonna lose anyone else.
It's okay. It's over now. I'll always be watching over you, Emil. Thank you, Halua. Emil! Yeah? Are you all right? control my abilities now yes we're all quite pleased now get out here already just a second I can't I can't see very well Ugh. no don't don't look at me Neil what's wrong stay back Good God. <laughs> Welcome back, Emil. You've been through a lot. But my... My body... I can't stand to be with you when I look like this. Now what I tell you, we're here for you, no matter what. <laughs> look now, then so be it. I was terrified at first, but it's not all bad, you know? I have the magic I wanted, and I can use it to bring Kaine back to us. Emil. We should hurry. She's waiting. I sure hope seeing me doesn't petrify her. You know, in fear? I see this transformation has not stolen your terrible sense of humor. was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway... Beast approaches. Oh, I know.
closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long, petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us. And really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. We should turn in. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. <laughs> really, how can I blame Devila and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. I never once stopped to think about Kaine in Emil's situation myself. Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devila and Popola. Very well.
Coppola? Oh. Hello. Look, I want to apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, oh. It was right under our pages the whole time. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So, take a boat. A, a boat? Yes. The canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected. What with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. Kaine! Are you all right? Kaine! I fear there is little we can do for her. No! Kaine! What is happening? I couldn't hold it back. I can't be with... 
We're always going to be together, Kaine. If you transform again, we'll just stop it again. As many times as it takes. I don't care how tough it is. We're gonna get you back. I like sleeping outside because I'm with you, Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of you. I'm weak and I'm sad and I'm lonely, but you make me strong. You're my friend and I need you. So don't you dare leave me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Stop crying. And thanks. I'm all right. Over there. And what is this, hmm? It's me. It's got some kind of writing on it, but I don't know what it says. How remarkably useless of you. Well, let's go ask Popola. It's a cipher of some kind. Can you determine its meaning? I think this is the key to unlocking the Shadow Lord's castle. Here, take a look at this. I wrote down all the words I can understand. This fragment is called the Stone Guardian. Given that you found it in the Lost Shrine, the words must mean something. There are spaces here for four other fragments as well. Sacrifice, the Law of Robotics, the Memory Tree, Loyal Cerberus. The Law of Robotics probably refers to the Junk Heap. And the Memory Tree might be the Forest of Myth. But as for sacrifice and loyal Cerberus, I don't have a clue. Not a problem. Hmm? If we want to fill in the words, we just run around the world killing every big monster we find, right? Oh, splendid. By all means, let us undertake a murderous rampage. They're just shades. Besides, it's the only way to reach the Shadow Lord. It's a dangerous task. Yeah, well, Yona's in even more danger. But how can you even be sure that she's... Because she is! Right? <sighs> hmm. The junk heap and the forest of myth, yeah? I'm on my way. Please be careful. Oh, and listen. About Kaine and Emil. The villagers know how much they've sacrificed, and they're thankful. It's just... They're scared, you know? People can't change overnight. I'll hurry them along the best I can. But can you please give them a little more time? I'll try. Man, there's gotta be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh I'll be fine. Oh no! Huh? Look out! Huh? Oh, hey there. It's been a while. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fair's your brother? 
My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please, forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Wait! Yes? I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. Hmm. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. Weiss, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. We can never be together! You disgust me!
Kakere. We hear your days of bachelorhood are coming to a close, Kin. Congrats. Forgive my prying, but we are all eager to know the identity of your lucky bride. Kitsurei kita. Kusai kyorie. Hold on. Fira? You have grown into a fine example of womanhood. I'm sure you will make a splendid queen. Kaine's gonna want to see this. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance, Your Royalness. Congratulations on your wedding. Hak. Um, I'm sorry Kaine's not here, but. Of course. How could we refuse? Aww, weddings are the best. There's flowers everywhere. Everyone's happy. It's just great. I'm kind of jealous. Aren't you jealous, Kaine? Mm. Oh, come on. Igyuto lasenchi koi arteru wa shisu yorinchi kotteki saito zuse o deiki. Satereru ta ito. Yuri, Yuri. 
I would rethink this course of action, King. Ahead lies a battle you cannot win. ゼルガンとイカラツグキテテカイザムタリエキューサカイザムラオットトキテソードリリスダカイ<笑><笑> I believe that young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. Cool. Of course. Does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king. And now you must do all you can to honor her memory. Is that another infernal rule? Lan Perua Tonri Arterua Chio Ata Tostoshi Arterua Yarir Lo Fia. The poor king. This is all shades. Let's see if the junk heap kid sent us a letter. Hey there. Your weapon is ready to go. Great. Thanks. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. The Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? We're gonna kill it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Defend my mission. Machine! You killed my family! You took everything from me! Hey, come on. That's enough. <laughs> I did it! Now that this goddamn thing is dead, I can forage wherever I want! Just wait, you goddamn freak! Now I can make all kinds of powerful weapons! Just leave it to me! Leave it all to me! <laughs> Look, we get it, okay? Really? Hatred and madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he's capable of right now. Revenge is a fool's errand. Yeah, I know. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Vice. As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. It's the dark city of our Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. What in the... I never realized Shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Beast of Shade as well. That thing sucked up the villagers. No! If we keep this up, we're gonna kill them all! We can't let that happen! He's gone. 
His no. instincts have taken hold. The ultimate no. weapon is being deployed. What have I done? I killed innocent people. I killed them all. But you saved us. If it wasn't for you, I'd all be dead. We owe you. It's all right. <laughs> really? Don't look back. Now we can find the Shadow Lord. And Yona. We certainly can. Hold on, Yona. I'm almost there. You're really gonna do it? The whole village is buzzing, you know. They say you're gonna go rescue Yona. I guess it's really happening, huh? I'll bring her back. I promise. Um, about that. Yeah? Nothing. Never mind. Popola just loves to worry. Anyway, you be careful. Yes, do be careful. Thanks. It's the twins from your village. Popola? Devil? What are you doing here? Hey, any chance you'll just go back to the village? This is a very dangerous place. Even if you can find Yona here, you probably can't get her out. How did you get here? Shh. We're asking the questions right now. We're here to rescue Yona. No dice, huh? Well, I guess we don't have a choice then. No, I suppose not. How sad. We didn't want to fight you. We really, really didn't want to. Devil! What the... <laughs> Why? The answer to every riddle lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. The 
Shadow Lord? So you've been on his side this whole time? You must search for that answer yourself. You've got to face your own truth now. Please, enter the Shadow Lord's castle. さあ、程度と地いるとて。地産だと止めるか、改ざむ地元と。Hey, stop. Let me go. Stop it. Damn it. King no. No! Open the door! You can't fight that thing on your own! You cook it! Oh, Tauki! Arta! Vito! Kurto! Ko! Si! Iru! Kate! Ketaru ito echi kero arteria dase. Gyu zi. Kaku ishigishi. Shinchu kareruta kaizan. Teras. Anda aratate. Uranu peru a to chi. Uranu kareru to to chi. Knock it off already. Let's go. Kaine. He's fighting for you. And for Fira. Don't let him die for nothing. My friend. Devola! Popola! Oh, look. You made it. We've been waiting for so long. Why are you doing this? It began 1300 years ago. Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction, undertook a last-ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. <laughs> Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. Vice! My... mind... I... I remember... Devola... Popola... You are not human... In fact... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You want to finish that thought for him, sister? All of us, every person standing in this room, are mere shells created by the true humans. What are you saying? You still don't get it? You aren't human. So then humans 
I mean, the true humans are extinct? No. They still live on. You know them as shades. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait. Wait! Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. The rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Our endless existences have a single purpose. To control the lives of others in accordance with the will of the true humans. You have your own motives, your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolish... mess. <sighs> Sorry. Devila? Devila? Popola, are you crying? No, don't die. You know, Popola, I understand now why we're twins. It's because... Because we were born without souls. <sighs> Devla! I can't stop the bleeding! Oh god, I can't stop it! This world is too... Uh, too lonely for one without a soul. There's too much... emptiness. Our souls are missing, and yet somehow our tears still work. It's kind of weird. Sorry, sis. I love you. Devil! Devil! Don't you go! No! No, I can't be alone! body has become but there's something else there now something like pride you know 
I mean... Without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil! For so long, all I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Now get going, okay? Emil! Don't worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. Emil! Emil! <sighs> Emil! You jackass, get back here! so unstable, and Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. Well, I guess they'll just have to learn. you again just one more time <laughs> I'm scared I don't want to die
yêu nữa someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. She won't stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. Jonah's been possessed? This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. The shade that possessed her is gone. Cut! Watch over your uniform. You're freaking me out here, Vice. <laughs> what are you doing? Come so Just do it! Strike the killing blow! No, bother. One moment. 
please. Are you okay? Fine, just fine. All right, no, I'm not. Nice. It seems some headstrong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why, to stop him, of course. <gasps> but after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your <sighs> side. You're an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that, yes? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. Well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Nice. I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. Siona, all right? Oh, God, no. Oh, please, the girl is fine. Vice? Where are you? Are you okay? I am as well as can be, considering I have lost my physical form. Doubtless my voice will be the next to go, so listen closely. Your sister is safe. Do not mourn her, and do not give up hope. Instead, you must call her back to you. How? Use your memories. Recall the times you spent with her. Present her with proof that the two of you live still, and that your lives have meaning. I... I don't know. Typical. But take heart. I know you can do it. What's my favorite food? Cookies. What's my favorite book? That's my magic storybook. What's my favorite place? Home with you. What's my favorite flower? The lunar tear, of course. Okay, one more question. Who do I love more than anyone? Is that... you? Yona... Is this... my... body? Yes, Yona. It's yours and yours alone. You look... bigger than before. 
like you've grown up. Oh, yeah. I guess you haven't seen me for a while. Have I been asleep this whole time? Something like that. It's almost like I'm a princess from some fairy tale. Oh, Yoda. I'm so happy to have you back. Me too. <laughs> Kaine. You and your sister. You have a good life, okay? Where are you gonna go? Guess I'll... You could stay with us, you know. Thanks, but I'll pass. You know how it is. I got my own shit to take care of. What do you mean? Personal shit, all right? Anyway, take it easy, yeah? Kind of. Hey, look! It's beautiful. For the longest time, I heard someone telling me how they wanted to see the light. Finally, see it. today yeah it sure is 